Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi. Uh, today, a very powerful short video as I need to pick up some friends at the airport. Bitcoin dropped again with a couple of K, guys. So we're going to look at five amazing Bitcoin charts. I'm going to give you a trading tip. I'm going to give you a travel tip. I'm going to talk about the news. I'm going to answer a question of one of the followers. And yes, I'm going to end the video again with a beautiful inspirational quote. While the sun is shining, the weather is... Yeah, that one of Bob Marley, guys. Now let's quickly jump into the charts to show you exactly what is happening at the moment to Bitcoin. The first chart for the day, guys, is this day chart. We have been tracking this day chart now for some time. And again, we hit the top there of the flag. We're coming down again. I don't know if we can still consider this a flag as the flag is almost as long as the pole. And I know there is a, a, a lot of influence also saying, nah, wait, Didi, that pole should be over there. We can take it all to the beginning. Of course, we can extend it on a daily chart because it's the 21st of February uh, till about March. So it's like, yeah, it's still possible to do that and to break out of this flag but at the moment that we break this level here of this blue line then for me it's definitely over guys and the blue line uh, is coming up slowly probably in a couple of days we would hit it again somewhere around 62 k uh, the blue line guys to show you is a 12 weekly moving average always an important line as you've seen here the wicks hitting it here we were hitting it so we could hit it again to test it and um, yes if i extend the flag it's hitting that as well but you know i don't like these flags that are that like that wide so normally it should be a little bit shorter and then breaking out but can still break out but the possibility becomes smaller and smaller and then we need to just look into what is happening then but uh, short term yes we can see of course that we are inside of that band that we are seeing as a flag at the moment you know we are going up and down up and down bouncing which means we are building a lot of a lot of support in this area so this whole area from 60 to 70k becomes a really strong area as a, as a lot of volume is being created over there so this area in the far future will also become a very strong area if we go to 100k and 120k and we come back it will be a very strong area also of support so we always need to remember that this area was taking a very long time to be breaking to be broken you know it's that 70k level and all that volume is being created here will also turn into support in the far future so very important now let's jump into a few more very cool charts this one is the first one just to show you again that you should not be freaking out we had a 21% dip here, almost 22%. We had a 20% dip there, 21% dip there, 21% dip there. What would have happened if you would have bought this dip? You would have been in profit. What would have happened if you would have bought this dip? You would be in profit. What would have happened if you would have bought that dip? You would be in profit. What would have happened if you would have bought that dip? You would be in profit. Now we are seeing again a 19.2% dip, maybe 20%. What would happen if you buy that dip? In the future you again will be in profit simple as that buy these dips these charts are showing you exactly what you should do here you're seeing who is doing exactly what i just told you to do these people in that gray these people that are representing that green beautiful area they are buying each and every dip you know who they are they are the long-term hodler wills so while you're all doubting and crying and not buying the wills and the long-term haulers just like me are buying we are buying we are adding to our portfolio i'm even sharing it in my vip group i bought at 65k i bought at 62k i will keep buying if even if i earn something and we are at 70k i will keep buying long-term holder wills understand that we are by far at the bull market top so we will keep adding to our portfolio until the indicators tell us that we are at the top and my long-term world friends over here are all doing the same and you should be doing the same as well you should not start buying you know at the top of the bull market you should buy, be buying now at that moment that all these wills are adding to the portfolio then we have this chart guys this is the coolest of them all i've been sharing this chart already for for a couple of times in history uh, created by willie who bitcoin annualized returns the four-year investment period and of course we are going to compare it to um yes over here gold and the s p 500 
um, if you would have invested four year cycles in gold look you would have still have a return in 8.6 percent still very positive the s p 500 would have given you around 70 percent bitcoin would have given you around 76 percent that is exactly why you should invest in the gold of the 21st century because these old gold bugs that still believe in these old fashioned way of like investing in gold and the S&P 500, they all are going to be replaced by the investors that now understand the digital gold. That's why Bitcoin is making more profits, way more profits. And soon, when all those real world asset tokenizations will take place, all of these S&P 500 ones are also going to disappear and be replaced by, by the tokenized real world assets that also will outperform all of these traditional forms, guys. These are the codex from the 80s and the 90s. These were still believing that this normal photo thing, traditional non-digital photo would survive. All the others that did bet on the digital photo cameras, they won. These over here, gold, S&P 500 stocks, very traditional, old fashioned, not giving any return on investment, yet 8.6%, yee <laughs> that's nothing. 76% for Bitcoin. There's almost 10 times more than gold. There's almost 5 times more than the S&P 500, guys. Be investing in Bitcoin. Ignore this part over there. I hope you really enjoyed those charts, guys. Again, short-term volatility, like we always say. Of course, we should have been breaking out of that pattern, that daily pattern. Again, we came down to the bottom line of that pattern, guys. Long-term, zooming out, looking at the bigger picture, we are going to see a higher Bitcoin price than we see now. Like we always do, after halving, we could go sideways. I already told you, we could go even sideways for one to two months. That's like... 30 to 60 days before we even go up to these new levels of 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 20, 30, 45, 60 K, whatever your target might be, we will see when the indicators waters to get out, but we will go higher than this guys. Every and each halving, we ended up minimal at the double price as the price at the halving. There was not one halving, we didn't double the price after the halving guys. So let that be a reminder, Halving price, 63K. If we just at least double it, we will reach like 120 to 130K. Beautiful bull market top. When it comes to trading, guys, the trading tip for the day is, of course, that you always need to diversify your Bitcoins into different wallets. Now, talking about wallets, there was some news I want to talk about instead of a trading tip. The news was about Samurai Wallet. Samurai Wallet is a very good Bitcoin wallet. It has built a coin mixer in it, so you are able to coin mix your wallet. Now, the founders of Samurai Wallet need to go to court because they are accused of money laundering more than 100 million US dollars because of that function in their wallet. They are now saying all the criminals that use the coin mixer, money launder money through your platform, you need to come to court. Just like again with Ross Ulbricht, just creating a marketplace. And then because criminals use the marketplace now, Ross Ulbricht is in jail. So by creating a project that criminals use, you can go into jail in crypto space. Now, again, these guys created one of the best Bitcoin wallets out there. And yes, it has a coin mixer built in because there is a demand for that. And because people use that, now these guys need to go to court. Now, there is one thing that I really don't understand. So from my perspective, if you create a project that criminals can use, you as the creator of the project can go to jail. So what about all those CEOs of the central banks? Can they go into jail? They are printing dollars, euros, and other fiat currencies that also can be used by criminals. So criminals are using that product, but they don't need to go to jail. And now in crypto, when you create something that a criminal could use, but it's not focused to criminals, you can go into court. So I think that now that we accuse all those crypto entrepreneurs, we should start to accuse all those people that created products for also criminals. Let's see, Google, hmm, that's used by criminals. Um, iPhones, they are used by criminals. The internet, oh, that's used by criminals. US dollars and euros, ah, that's used by criminals. Oh shit, people that built 
complete huge apartment building, real estate, they are bought by criminals. All the products that we see around us are being created by a company and can be used by criminals. So what is now the difference between a Bitcoin wallet and, for example, a bank? A bank is being used by criminals. Should now the bank CEOs all go into jail? Or the person that gave that bank account to a criminal, should he also go into jail or into court? Because they say, yeah, that bank that facilitated $100 million of money laundering. I don't think it's $100 million that the banks have facilitated the money laundering. I think it's like 100 trillion, zillion, kadillion million dollars that the banks have facilitated the money laundering. All the bank people, employees, CEOs should go into jail. The banks can be used by criminals. Please go into jail. So the training tip for today is use Samurai Wallet and all the other wallets that coin mix your coins. The travel tip for today, guys, um, is that if you're traveling like us, unbanked, you, we don't own bank accounts anymore, the whole family doesn't have a bank account, we only have Bitcoin wallets. In the beginning, sometimes we need to pay some bills. And that was really difficult because they don't accept Bitcoin yet. And we can't convert to cash and pay a bill, for example, in the Netherlands when we're in Spain. So what we did at that moment is we created this WhatsApp group with all friends and families. And we told to all the friends and families, hey, if you want to buy Bitcoin, let me know because you can buy Bitcoin from me by paying our bill. So what you then do is, for example, you need to pay your telephone bill. You tell your sister, hey, can you pay my telephone bill, like 100 euros, whatever it is, from your bank account? And by doing so, you will be buying 100 euros of Bitcoin from me. So you're paying my bill through your bank account, but you're buying 100 euros of Bitcoin from me. I still don't understand why there is no decentralized platform that is facilitating that kind of service because you're never buying Bitcoins, you're just paying bills. And by paying bills, another person is sending you Bitcoin. So that's an OTC solution that we all could use. So is there, if there is a smart guy watching this video that wants to help me develop such a platform, yes, I'm willing to invest in such a platform where we can make a beautiful overview of people that are prepared to pay your bills through a bank account. And when they pay the bill through a bank account, we will send them Bitcoin. Or maybe we will put the Bitcoin already in this custodial service for some time till the bill is paid and then it's being released, just like five or all these platforms. So if you're traveling, that's a solution to pay bills without a bank account. Just let other people pay the bill while you send them Bitcoin. So a kind of OTC deal in a creative way. As there was no question of one of the followers, at least I couldn't find a valid one, I want to uh, remind you that if you want to trade, guys, there's a centralized ways of trading. That's when you send your Bitcoins to an exchange to be able to trade there. The best exchange out there is Bybit by far, with a huge length. Bybit is the most trustable, safe, and most liquid exchange I've ever seen. Uh, they don't fool people. They just do what they say and they say what they do. If you sign up to buy with using my link down below, you can claim up to 30,000 US dollar in deposit bonus. And at the moment, they have a really cool campaign that you can win up to $4 million USDT. You need to use the link down below. That's centralized trading. So you need to send your Bitcoins or your Ethereum to buy with to be able to trade. Of course, you can also send US dollar or euros, but you need to send money. They will be the custodial service for you to be able to trade. Then if you want to trade decentralized by connecting your own wallet to a decentralized exchange and trade from your wallet, so even if that decentralized exchange would stop, you will still be able to have access to your Bitcoins, Ethereum, whatever currency you hold, then my preferred exchange is Apex Pro. Apex Pro is by far the best decentralized exchange out there. It is a DEX with an order book model, which means you can even set buy orders, sell orders, and even trade with leverage, use DC plus also use DT on Apex Pro. You can also buy some spot tokens. Everything is possible on Apex Pro, staking, everything. So if you want to trade completely decentralized in a very safe way, so you will never be sending your Bitcoins to an exchange, but you will only connect your wallet to the exchange to be able to trade, then use Apex Pro. The link is also down below. Also there, of course, you get a sign up bonus at the moment. So buy a bit, centralized exchange, Apex Pro, decentralized exchange. Make sure you use the links because that is how you claim your bonuses.
And the news for today, guys, is that a shitload of liquidity again is flowing into the market very soon as the Hong Kong China spot Bitcoin and Ethereum ETF are going live on the 30th of April. So the Hong Kong Bitcoin and Ethereum spot ETF will start trading on the 30th of April, which means that the whole of Asia will get access also to those spot ETFs. Now, I know that you all think, yeah, but Hong Kong isn't that big, but you know, there's many Asian people, I think even from Thailand and China, they all trade through Hong Kong because Hong Kong is like the commercial center of Asia and that area, guys. I don't know if that also gives access to Chinese billionaires and trillionaires to hedge their funds into uh, these spot ETFs now, but that is something that we will find out around the 30th. I think that there is a lot of liquidity in Asia. I think Asia is one of the richest parts of the world. There is a lot of liquidity over there. And if they all understand what is happening to the Bitcoin spot ETFs in the United States, that people already made 100% profits, then the Asian people will also understand that they will need to put a little bit of their capital into those spot ETFs now through Hong Kong. So huge step ahead again, Hong Kong going live with the spot Bitcoin, but also the spot Ethereum ETF on the 30th of April. Of course, that Ethereum ETF will put some pressure on the United States to now say yes to the spot Ethereum ETF as well in the United States and go live as well, because now Asia will be first. And that will mean that some people that love Ethereum more than Bitcoin will probably already buy that spot ETF, that Ethereum spot ETF in Hong Kong. So if the United States doesn't make like a little bit more tempo, then yes, a lot of liquidity could go now again into the Asian spot ETF. It's a spot ETF war. So the Netherlands already has one. I think Canada already has one. Now the United States has one. And now we will get one in Hong Kong. Which one will be the next? Let me know which country will be the next with creating a spot ETF for Bitcoin and Ethereum. And that brings us to the last part of the video, guys, the inspirational part, which is a quote I saw yesterday on a reel of Sadhguru. I really like Sadhguru. He's a really cool Indian guru that simplifies like very difficult things. And yesterday's quote was, um, whatever happens to you in life, you can always act wounded or you can act wise. And it's, I think it's very true. Whatever happens to you, you can always play the wounded victim, oh, it's so bad, my life is so terrible, oh man, that event destroyed me, I can't live anymore, there is no reason to live anymore, wounded or wise. Hmm, indeed, this really strange thing happened to me, but I learned a very valuable lesson out of it. Let's continue and not make that same mistake again. For everything that happens to you, you can choose to be wounded or wise, whatever it might be. If it is your boss yelling at you, you can be, oh, my boss is always yelling to me, or you can be, okay, maybe there is something in it that he tells me, maybe he, it holds a little bit of truth, yeah, maybe I should listen, and maybe I should learn of that, what he told me, and I will just continue, and then, you know, and ignore his yelling, because that's the way of communicating. Some people can't communicate like an adult, some people need to yell, let him yell. I understood what you're saying, I'm taking my lesson out of it, and I will continue, and I will improve, and I will improve so much that it will leave your company as soon as possible, because another one wants to take me over. So you can always choose to be wounded or to become wise because of the thing that happened to you. You can go negative or you can go positive. I choose positive every time again and again and again. I don't want to be wounded. I did that once when my father died. I was a wounded guy. I went all the way in that vicious spiral downwards to having a huge burnout, wounded, why did it happen to me? Why does that all happen to me? Why did my par why did my parents die? I don't have a life anymore. I don't want to live anymore. That wounded guy turned into this wise guy. I learned my lesson. I saw what happened. Yes, you can die with 48. Yes, you can die with 61. I'm going to live to the fullest. I'm going to grab life by the balls and live to the fullest 24 seven with my family. Fuck that world. Fuck that wounded, simple guy over there that doesn't want to live anymore. I'm going to change. I'm going to change. I don't want this. And then you become that wise guy that takes lessons from all those events that happened to him. And when you become that guy, that's exactly when you turn a little bit more positive and you're able to live a really beautiful life because you will neglect and ignore all that negativity, all those victim roles and all that wounded part of your life. Just ignore it. Just become a wise guy from all the lessons that life is teaching you. Don't, don't act like you're the wounded one. 
you will become the wise one. It will bring you way further in life than being a victim or a wounded one. Just move on. That was the inspirational part for today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. Show up to powerful, like I promised. Uh, if you did it, enjoy it, then give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends and family. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Leave a comment and let me know what you think about everything in this video. Thanks for watching. I wish you an amazing Thursday and see you tomorrow again. Bam.